Somewhere deep in the tunnels that sprawl beneath Seattle, a melted wax mannequin of a man sits hunched over in front of a bank of computer screens. The blue glow illuminates a dank and dingy den full of tangled cords, rat bones, and ripped plastic packaging. The gentle sloshing of sewage fails to conceal a rhythmic tapping at the chamber door. The man types furiously at his keyboard, black grit caking his fingernails. But there's no shortcut to get him out of this one. Come on, come on, help me out here! One of many screens shows a dark terminal scrolling with light blue text. A soft voice reads out a reply, each letter flickering into view in sequence. All possible outcomes have been computed. The safest option for you is to remain where you are. The man slams the desk, rattling the screws. There's there's some kind of crazy singing out there, man. They must have sent someone to find me. You, you gotta do something or you can kiss your stupid gate goodbye. That ticket's about to get punched. The text pauses its scrolling. When it resumes, lines start clearing from the top of the terminal, erasing all trace of the conversation. Please remain where you are, Jimmy. We will contact you when it is safe. Safe for you or safe for me? No, 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 come on! Oh, man! Gosh, oh, shit! Damn it! <laughs> he runs a hand through non-existent hair, grabs his phone off the desk, and starts composing a text. He's about to hit send, when the tapping outside stops. The man glances up at the bulkhead door, wide-eyed, and vanishes from his chair, leaving it spinning idly in an empty room. Oh my god, God. the The call is coming from inside the house! Is it a portal? You think we're in the portal already? My lovely notes ride upon a wing. travelers, and welcome to the court of the Jester Princes. I am your storyteller, Jonas Tintinzare. We are playing Vampire the Masquerade V5 Midnight Gravity. Joining me tonight, our representative diva, Rachel Cordell. I'm Mars, and tonight's song is Come Fly With Me by Frank Sinatra. Oh. Mm-hmm. I know that one. Our representative Duskborn, Casey Reardon. I play Matthias Wilson. And are you Thurston? That just sounds cool. For a Thurston fact? Yeah, just oh, you know Jonas said these were going to be mean, and they're definitely not. Are you Thirsting for a Thurston fact? Sure. I'm absolutely. so thirsty. Sure yeah. Uh, amazing. Did you know that in 1914, Howard Thurston had his own ride at Luna Park in Coney Island? It was <laughs> called Thurston's Kiss Waltz Ride. And according to one of his friends, the gyrations of the rise, quote, caused many a loving couple under the delusion that they were waltzing to throw up their hot dogs. <laughs> the delusion that they were waltzing. I like that. Wow. Oh. Oh my God, again, sorry. Thurston. Thurston's Kiss Waltz Ride. Okay, because I heard Thurston Kiss Walt as in like Walt Whitman or like Walt. <laughs> <laughs> Walt like Walter. Walt. Waltz. Waltz. Okay. Waltz. Yeah, right. yeah plural like the of Walters. Waltz. Yeah, Waltz. Multiple Thurston's Waltz. Thurston's Kiss Waltz. There it is. Our representative punk, Seth Covey. So hurtful. <laughs> sorry, the next ones are worse. I'm sorry. It's these so, ones are fine. So, that's <laughs> so, these are these, so the tame. Nice ones. <laughs> yeah. Uh, are you leaving in the part where you warned us you were going to insult us? No. Because I... Okay. All right. It didn't... Clearly, it wasn't worth it. Okay. I should have, I should have just gone with it. Bully me more. Bully, all right. Here we go. Hi, I'm Timothy Foster. I'm crying. 
That's very punk of you. I'm so hurt. That's so punk. It works on levels. Our representative stiff, Andrew Frost. My name is Antonio Strigano. I don't know why we keep doing this every week. We all know how it's going to end. Oh, cool. It always ends the same way. Damn. Anyway. With a little I'd like kid. to argue Whoa. that it hasn't ended the same way every time. <laughs> yeah, to well, my I chagrin. Don't, I don't know if he's talking about the intro. <laughs> and our representative jester, Sky Swanson. <laughs> Can't believe you didn't say that. <laughs> I'm the person on RP gestures, you fuck. You're the title character. You're the you're RP gestures. Yeah, you yeah. are. I'm, the, I'm the RP. Oh my god. My oh god. my god, it all tracks you now. The, <laughs> the R stands for Reggie. Hey, yeah, oh, it's god. me. It... Reggie Pale. Reggie Piss Boy Jester. <laughs> hey, uh, welcome to welcome back to Piss Boy Facts about piss and fish. Um, many eels, such as the American eel, have the ability to create a mucus layer around their body. There are many reasons on why this is done, from protection from predators to protection from pathogens. Seriously, if you ever want to see something nightmarish, look up a barrel of eels. It's horrifying. Hmm. Yeah. I won't. Reggie. <laughs> 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 when did you fill this barrel with water? I never did. <laughs> exactly. No, literally, that's what happens. Yeah. <laughs> it's terrifying. It's awful. It doesn't look that bad. Last time on Midnight Gravity, our coterie, accompanied by Timothy's old friend, Evelyn, descended into the sprawl, the supernatural labyrinth that has grown out of the Seattle underground in the decades since the Reconstruction. Searching for any sign of the Nosferatu Jimmy Curley McKinley, the coterie instead found a mysterious cistern with four passageways leading off to parts unknown. After a strange encounter with a bird, a real one this time, our kindred regrouped and followed an unusual tapping sound to find a rat ramming its head into the wall near a bulkhead door sealed with an electronic lock. The rat squeaked and scampered away, leaving bloodstains on the stone and six vampires to figure out how to get inside. So how do we get inside? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, you're the magician. Uh, yeah. Can you just open it? That's your whole thing, right? I mean, I was not really doing much performing and haven't since stuff like this was around, but I guess I can give it the old college try. Yeah, why is that? <laughs> Matthias ignores and cracks his <laughs> knuckles. And I, I do have an idea on how to get in here. Uh, Jonas, and it's going to... Let, let me let me flavor it here for you, and and we'll see what you say about it. Okay. So as Matthias cracks his knuckles, it, it masks the sound of a clicking noise as a vial <laughs> shoots up from within his jacket sleeve into his hand that he then stabs into his wrist. Ooh, and yeah. as he does so, uh, the veins on his wrist, if you could see them, start to pop out a little bit and get to be this pale blue color as his fingertips start sparking slightly. And I want to use my my Thin Blood Alchemy ability plug in to try and short the electronic level. <gasps> I love the idea. There is a higher level formula that is designed to do just that. So it's kind of out of the scope of the power. Boo. Yes, that is why I, I asked you about it. <laughs> but there are some extenuating circumstances that may allow this to occur. So we're going to make the roll and see how it goes. Great. Uh, I will say, let me describe the lock specifically. Uh, so the bulkhead door is like you would see on any ship um, kind of implanted in the stone wall here. There is a kind of rusted wheel on it that if anyone touches does not move when applied pressure to. And the lock has kind of been clamped over the, the seam of the door and the wall. It is a, uh, a passcode lock. There's a, a nine digit or 10 digit keypad and a small LCD screen uh, over top of it. So yeah, we're going to, so first to activate an alchemical formula, we first require the distillation roll to see, did you do a good enough job cooking up this vial in the first place? Yep. Matthias's method of alchemy is uh, the classical one, fixatio. The dice pool for distillation is intelligence plus alchemy. 
So go ahead and roll that. That's fine. <laughs> Let him cook. One success. Of course. You spend some willpower. I would love to spend as much willpower as possible on this because that is terrible. Uh, I think you need a minimum of two successes to have it function. Yeah, I know. You got this. Hey. That's three successes. Three successes. So on three successes, the power is weak, fluky, or late in happening. Now, lovely. Fluky is interesting to me because I think fluky means you could use it to do something unintended, uh, at least in this instance. Let's go ahead and make the power roll, which is resolve plus alchemy. Yep. Uh, which is a dice pool of five for you. That's a that's a three success. Okay. Here's what I'll offer you. Mm-hmm. This this will work, but you are going to burn your hand with the electric shock. Take one aggravated damage. Well, hold on a second. Because mm-hmm. I currently have two in fortitude, including resilience. Does that do anything for me? Resilience adds to your health track. So you will be a little bit less likely to die if someone um, hits you very hard later. But it does not do anything to reduce aggravated damage. That is that is a power that exists, but it's not one that you have right now. Gotcha. Okay. I think Matthias would try this anyway. Okay. Then that's the answer. Um, you Commit to the uh, bit! The sparking fingertips, uh, you touch, reach out to the electronic uh, lock, and there is this bright flash of blue light. The device short circuits, and the lights go out, and you feel this uh, feedback as the electricity singes your fingertips uh, and basically scorches uh, your flesh to the point that your hand is, you cannot do anything. Um, that requires fine manipulation with your left hand, essentially. Yep. Uh, until you heal that. So that'll be one aggravated damage, but the lock uh, clicks and is disabled. Voila. Hell yeah, dude. Is that in character? Was that Antonio saying that? That doesn't <laughs> sound like Antonio. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Antonio, you have never said those words to me, ever. No, I didn't. I didn't like that. That was weird. <laughs> Let me ask you as well, Matthias, that, that that little voila, is that accompanied perhaps by a grimace and shaking of the hand as more like a yeah. ah, voila? Like, <laughs> oh, no, he's 100 percent playing this off as got it. This was the intended effect and he is ignoring and hiding. Uh, got it. His 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 pain. You quickly <laughs> shove your hand into your pockets. Everyone else sees it just steaming a little bit. I mean, he does mostly wear gloves. But still, he would have to hide the glove from the, the singed gloves, hand. Yeah. Just little scorch yeah. tips are ripped off for sure. <laughs> I just want to like give Matthias a little like elbow and be like, "Still got it, old man." <laughs> That's good. You don't know the half of it. <laughs> Get a little like eyebrow raise from Mars. Are they are they flirting? Who wants to go in first? I stride over to the door and open it. You grab the wheel, pull. The door swings open with an ungainly creaking sound. Inside, you see a space that extends about five to ten feet on the right and infinitely into another tunnel on the left. The far wall is maybe 20 feet ahead of you. You see there's boxes and boxes, like cardboard boxes stacked up and scattered everywhere, bits of plastic packaging, rat bones. There's a desk shoved into the corner underneath another fluorescent caged light on the wall with computer screens stacked on it. Looks a lot like Pox's setup, uh, although a lot more haphazard. There's some kind of large metal trunk in the corner, and um, on the left, as you go past the desk, the center of the floor divots into a uh, like a sewage canal, and the floor extends as passageways on either side of it, running off into the darkness where the lights start to fade. Uh, yeah, Timothy, you walk in, you see all that, and uh, no sign of Jimmy. Yeah, close the door. Does everyone go in after Jim- Timothy? And, yeah, uh, yeah, move fast. Okay. Yeah, close the door. We look around. I'm, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a deep breath in through the nose to try and find a stinking corpse. Yeah. <laughs> go ahead and roll wits awareness, uh, Timothy. Wits. Oh, awareness. Know your strong suit. Wits. Wits. Oh, awareness. It sure is. <laughs> Sure is. Awareness. awareness I'm real wits, good wits, at awareness. awareness. <laughs> Anyone else who would like to roll wits awareness may as well. Yeah, I'll give it again. Sure. sure. I'll roll two. Wits awareness. Wits, wits, awareness. Uh, four from Matthias. Woo! Three out of two, baby. Yeah, I got two, two. Can I heighten senses on this? You can use heightened senses, yes. Um, Anyone may also blood surge if you want to roll two more dice. Oh, we're getting a blood surge from Mars. 
It worked favorably. Still not hungry. You guys need to get hungrier. Can you fail some more rouse checks? No, please. I mean, I can, I can up blood surge for the for the hell of it. I got you, four already, but just, just remember to... that your blood surge is only one die, Casey. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. I have failed so many rouse checks. You should rouse check. I'm adding plus three. You're at plus three dice with heightened senses and a blood surge. Yes. Thank you. Case, no, stop. <laughs> Succeed. Don't tell me what to do. Well, it's fun to rub it in Reggie's face, I guess. <laughs> it still doesn't fucking work out. <laughs> uh, oh, wow. I got one success. One success on seven dice. Not willing to use willpower. <laughs> Can I use Sense the Unseen? You are using Sense the Unseen, in fact. Radical. Um, and that is, a, that is a hidden roll. We'll get to that momentarily. Right. So let's see. We have Reggie with three successes, uh, Mars with one, uh, Antonio with two, Matthias with four. Okay. Here's what we notice in, in descending order. Actually, no, ascending order. Timothy notices nothing. You, can't smell them. You observe the room. You can't smell anything, which is fair. You are in like somewhat of a sewer. It just stinks already. There's no real way to dis- differentiate, um, at least as far as you're concerned. Um, Mars with one success. You hear... Uh, very faintly, some squeaking rat. Could have been the one that just ran away. Could have been one in the room. You're not sure. Antonio, with two successes, you can see, because you have Oblivion side up, you can see farther into the darkness that extends to the left. And you see it is a long, straight tunnel. You don't see any other passages branching off of it as far as you're able to make out right here. So if he's fleeing, he there's only one way he can go from here. Reggie, on three successes, you... And Matthias both with four because this because you got the door open so quickly, you see that the little office chair in front of the computer desk comes to a stop where it had just been spinning a moment ago. So something was there very recently. Does it like stop abruptly or as if the momentum is just done? It You are catching the last second of its momentum. Hey, uh, whoever was here just left or they're still here. Uh, That's a good opportunity to do this. You have six dice on your Sense the Unseen pool, Sky, and yeah. when when you activated it, you said the following. I wonder if you'll fail it as much as I do. Now, I rolled zero successes. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Luckily, you have no hunger at the moment, so there's no risk of a bestial failure. I've been a little bit generous so far because the consequences of previous failed rolls did not hold um, sufficient... Uh, let's say dramatic weight compared to how they made Reggie feel about failing so much. But tonight, the night that's going to end, you feel two thin and impossibly strong arms encircling your head Ooh. begin to squeeze. You are caught in a vise. You feel your eyes bulging out of your skull and you fear you will pop if the pressure gets any tighter. Oh my God. The rest of you see Jimmy McKinley uh, kind of not so much shimmer into view. It's almost like you blink and he's there where you weren't. There was a blind spot in your vision before as he grabs around Reggie's head and says, nobody fucking move. Nobody move or I'll, I'll ah, pop this one's head ah, like a beer can. I, I swear to God, I got nothing ah, to lose. Ah, ah, ah. We just want to talk. Will you let us do that? Maybe, maybe we should just let him go. He squeezes your head tighter, Reggie. Okay. Easy. Jimmy, we just want to talk. Man. Oh, God. Fuck. God. Fuck. Fuck. Oh, my God. They sent a fucking thin blood. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What the fuck are you going to do, man? You're going to spit on me? God damn it. Fuck. What? <laughs> I look at Matthias like, what the fuck? I don't, I don't, <laughs> honestly, I don't. this is not a reaction I usually get. Have you spit on people before? No. 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 Is thin blood spitting on people a thing? Squeezes your head again. Guys, ah, guys. Let's focus on the task at hand. Jimmy, can you let go of my friend, please? No, you're going to fucking kill me. God, I can't believe they sent a bunch of fucking nobodies to kill me. I gotta um, squeeze it harder. <laughs> Rude, first of all. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we don't have to kill you. Okay, he likes that. Keep talking. Mm-hmm. But uh, there are consequences for the actions. <laughs> but we don't have to make this ugly if it doesn't have to be. And I would like to uh, evoke awe when doing this. Okay. Go ahead and roll Charisma Persuasion plus three dice. While Mars is talking, 
If, if, if anyone else is taking any other actions, feel free or want to activate a discipline, that's totally fine. Uh, Timothy, you see Evelyn, who has kind of uh, leaned up against the, the wall near the door. She just kind of catches your eye and nods as in, like, should we just fucking take him? I'm going to start stalking around uh, like a wolf would encircle prey. Okay. To get a flank? Sure. Yeah. Um, I don't think you have to roll for that at the moment. He's... Uh, Mars has awe up, so he's very much focused on her. Um, I think Matthias is going to like make his way over towards the computer. <laughs> okay, excellent. Uh, by the way, my plugin should be active for the scene, correct? Uh, I think so. Yeah. So you can yeah. power whatever devices you like, buddy. You'll have to use your other hand though. Yeah. Antonio, just if nothing, that's totally fine. But is there anything you want to do while that conversation's happening? Uh, no, I think he's gonna stay put where he is and just. Cool. Let Mars do her thing for a bit. I got four successes. Four successes. Okay. You were all ten dice. Jesus Christ. It's ridiculous. She's, she's a face. <laughs> so you, Mars, you're talking. You see, he doesn't let he doesn't let up, but he also doesn't like tense up. So you're mm -hmm. you're doing okay to keep him talking. He's he's about to respond. He doesn't. I'm gonna say he doesn't notice Timothy creeping around, but he sees Matthias going for the computer because that's what he cares about most. So he he. And she's like, hey, get away, get away from there. I fucking stop as soon as he notices me. Then he, fuck, man, I don't even know a fucking good insult for you. That's how fucking useless okay, you are. God Jimmy, damn it. Jimmy, or it just shows Jimmy, your creativity. Jimmy, <laughs> focus up. I'm, I'm I just. Uh, you, you know, do you know why we're here? Yeah, I know why you're fucking here. Uh-huh. You, you take your, take, you can take my computer, but you gotta let me go. I'm not going down for this. Can you tell us why it happened? <sighs> man. Jimmy, please. It wasn't supposed to, man. I, I, he, he got aggressive and he was like fighting me. And I just, I just tried to like, just like set him down. And he like fucking snapped his neck. Oh, and so I was like, well, shit, idiot. I couldn't just leave him there. So I, I had to bring him back. And then I was like, ah, shit, but he's going to look like a fucking nos. So now I, I got to like ditch and I had to take all my shit and move it down here. And I just fucking panic man and now they sent a bunch of fucking losers to kill me and we look fucking tired again continues rising in pitch rude okay shut the fuck up oh you're a fucking loser and you know it you don't got shit in this town oh now i don't have shit in this town either oh god mm -hmm. yeah okay who's in whose situation here can i insight that this all was just an accident yeah um intelligence or wits insight go ahead Oh, I could use empathy here. You absolutely could use empathy here. But I won't. <laughs> <laughs> That's only two. Can I also do the insight there? Yeah, and anyone anyone hearing this can can insight Jimmy. Yeah, worth a shot. Three successes. Uh two, two. I'm gonna I'm gonna don't, burn don't. a Honestly honestly no? Jimmy okay. is not <laughs> there's nothing okay. it's it's a two it's a two difficulty roll for sure. Jimmy is is very much panicked and telling the truth. Mar uh, and Matthias and Antonio, especially you guys know um, from what you saw at his his shack, his little shed, like he moved out of there in a hurry. Like he's he's telling the truth uh, that he something fucked up. There's other context there for sure. But like when he says, no, it was just an accident and he was fighting me like, yeah, that seems to be the case. He knows he fucked up. He knows that this is really bad. OK. For a lot of okay. reasons. Let's let's relax. Because first of all. Again, there isn't a prince right now. Yeah. So maybe this can turn out okay, but running isn't going to make it better. M maybe. I can run pretty far. Jimmy. I can run into the sprawl. You never fucking Jimmy. find me. Jimmy. We're here now. We got you. If it's not us, it's somewhere. Someone else down the line. This is your best case scenario. That's a very important way to, to put it to him. Jimmy takes that all in. He seems like he's starting to calm down just a little bit. And then Evelyn uh, kind of raises a casual hand where she is leaning at the door. And she says, all right, not to be like a downer on the party or anything, but like, why do we care? Because we were told to care. We could just as easily care and bring back a pile of ash. And Jimmy tenses up again. Well, because he has our friend's head in a vice. I'm sorry, didn't you want some information from him as well? Isn't that why you're here? Hmm. Would Ash help you? 
Got you there. She she smiles. She, she it's true. You got her. She Jimmy kind of like glances over at her, and Evelyn says, "Yeah, Jimmy. Hi. We had an arrangement, and you backed out on me. I don't like that." Jimmy again tenses up, like she Evelyn is not one for calming people down, and she says, "But if you give me an answer, I like." then maybe these fine folks can uh, help you get out of here in one piece. What does that sound like to you? And he's like, I don't fucking know, man. I haven't been looking. I've, I've been on the fucking run. I had to move all my gear down here. I fucking hate this place. The walls are always changing. I never find anything. And she's like, shh, 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 I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit, Jimmy. Where is Lila? Where is the door? And you see Jimmy's eyes widen. His flesh kind of expands and you see these cracks in the undead corpus where bits of uh, muscle and membrane poke through as his body does not seem to be holding itself together very well. And he's like, oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Are you with them? Oh, my God. You're with them, aren't you? Fuck. It's all connected. Oh, my God. Of course, it's all fucking connected. I fucking hate you. Uh, squeezing tighter and tighter on Reggie's head with every <laughs> We have nothing to do with that. He, he just kind of like with one finger poking out from Richie's neck, poke, points at Evelyn's like, fucking she does. And uh, she's like, Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. Wait, he pointed a finger out? Yes. I bite it. Okay. To try and get out. Yeah. A bite is Ooh. normally a strength brawl. I think in this case, you just need to wiggle your head around. <laughs> so I'm, I'm just gonna... trying to get him to ease up. That way then I can get out of these hands. And Reggie is desperate to be free. Sorry, Absolutely. guys. Absolutely. <laughs> no, no. I, no, that, that makes sense. Right. I'd like to follow the action. As soon as, if Reggie gets out and in the clear, I'd like to make an action to restrain Jimmy with my chains. Yeah, okay. Uh, Reggie, go ahead and roll dexterity plus brawl. Oh, to make great. A bite. Okay. And um, I, I'll roll with Jimmy's reaction to see if he can dodge. Hey, look at that. That's pretty good. Four pretty successes. Good. Four pretty successes. Good. I take his finger off. Jimmy rolled one. And <laughs> oh. he, even with willpower, he cannot roll enough. Well, unless he gets a crit. Hold on. Nope. Could you imagine? Um. So yeah, you bite his finger. You're going to deal two aggravated damage to him, which fucking hurts. Vampire fangs can are I take dangerous. A, can I take the finger off? Absolutely. You, awesome. you bite his finger off. Do you swallow it? Uh, are we cannibalizing <laughs> vampires right now? This is a different kind of cannibalism. Yeah, this, this, is a big, this is a big character choice. This isn't a choice. This is a reflex. I'm just wondering if that's something. I mean, Re Reggie is freaked out. Doesn't want to be down here. Uh, yeah, I think accidentally they swallow the finger. Yeah, I just I just <laughs> want to know what level of indignity we are at with Reggie. Yeah. So Reggie, you with it, his finger feels like melted wax. It is like chewing Ugh, a candlestick gosh. and it just goes <clears throat> right down your throat. <coughs> Choking is a weird <laughs> sensation because you don't need to breathe, but it does catch and lodge in your throat. And you feel it stuck. There. It's still living. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, oh, God. God. Jimmy reels back in, in pain and panic. He goes, yeah! Uh, Timothy, go ahead and roll Strength Brawl. Would you like to, let me ask you two questions, Blood Surge or Activate Potence? I definitely want to activate Potence. Activate Prowess in this case. Yeah, Prowess. It won't specifically help you on the grapple, but if you need to do some actual damage or hold him down, good to have it on before that. Um, so yeah, Strength Brawl. I'm going to make my Rouse check. I'm at three hunger now. Oh boy. Oh, boy. Yeah, a little peckish. Almost in danger territory. So, uh, yeah, brawl, strength. <laughs> That's a crit. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, nice. Now, one thing about Nosferatu is that potence is one of their disciplines as well. You have, what's that, four? You have eight successes. Yeah. Oh, my yeah. God. It's unlikely, but we never say never. You can try. Yeah, never say die, because you can't. He's going to blood surge as well. Because we're vampires. Because you're vampires. <laughs> Uh, that's half a crit. Let's reroll those willpower dice. Mm, one, two, three. Nope. Unfortunately, he comes up short. He still gets a solid five. You are on him. You were you were already on his side. He wasn't watching where you're coming from. You are on him in a moment. And uh, in the next conflict turn, you will be able to start wrapping him in chains and locking him down. Um, we're going to do something here called three turns and out which is uh, during a conflict, unless it's a really important one to get really granular, 
we're only going to look at about three turns. So at the end of those three turns, what we do is we look at the scene and we just see who's winning, who's losing, and we just play it out from there without needing to roll more dice, exchange more blows. Um, in this case, we have Timothy grappling. Reggie has gotten away. Um, Mars, Matthias, Antonio, what are you guys doing? Kill him. Uh, <laughs> I think, Pull I a think gun. Matthias being close to the computer at this point and having him distracted is going to try and see if he can get anything <laughs> off the computer while this is going on because he's not going to be much use in the fight. Totally fair. A hundred percent. That is um, I, really funny, though. It's like your friend gets into a fight at a bar and you're like, well, I can't really fight. So I guess I go choose some music. Uh, <laughs> let me go on touch tunes and figure yeah, out. I, I go to a Spotify. That's yeah. what I'm ballroom blitz. Very yeah. appropriate for Matthias. Um, Matthias, just roll one d10 for me. A single d10. Yep. You want high? Uh, well, I figured. I don't know. Sometimes you want low. I don't know. Rachel likes failing. Uh, that's an eight. An eight. You tap the keyboard and the computer lights up. It was not long enough for it to lock itself. Oh, thank God. Since he left the Ooh. desk. Um, yeah. You. I mean, you just start looking at the computer. You don't need to roll for that. You can do that. Mars, yes. Speaking of choosing the music, um, I think... <laughs> <laughs> we going to whip out the harmonica? I was going to say, I want to whip out the harmonica. <laughs> um, I know technically as written things specify voice, but I kind of... Ah, yeah, sure. It's coming from your... Yeah. It's coming from my mouth. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to just like uh, play a little riff on the harmonica with the intention of subduing like or 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 um i don't know like i don't know i can't like physically weaken but like to to maybe uh like tire out mm, i think you could probably distract him or distract make him a little more sluggish with with uh yeah the extent of your power but yeah that's kind of the idea yeah that's, go ahead that's so funny Man, I've been listening to harmonica music all day and I'm just exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> so Mars, go ahead and make a rouse check for Siren's Beckoning and um, then roll Manipulation plus Presence. <laughs> manipulation, Presence. I still have awe. Does that apply? It does not. Okay. Stop succeeding. You're roused. Get hungry. <laughs> uh, the answer to that is no. Um, I'm only thirsty. You're thirsting. For a thirst effect. <laughs> and Antonio, what are we doing? I think Antonio's going to get the steak ready just in case and be ready to pounce if things get flaily. Okay, that's a good idea. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> I'm going to willpower. Um, you don't need to. Don't need to? He is a very small pool, and honestly, he does not want to spend willpower on this. So um, you got two successes. He got one um, to resist. Okay, cool. So uh, basically, you're going to trigger a, um, a compulsion in him. He's going to get a penalty to uh, uh, react to the combat happening around him. Um, just as this eerie, haunting harmonica sound starts echoing off the, the thin tin walls. Portable. Tin walls, they're not. Stone walls. Evelyn is going to come and assist you, Timothy, in locking him down. So she's going to start wrapping chains and give you an extra die on your grapple next turn. Nice. And Jimmy himself um, is like, you're, you're uh, kind of... He's shuffling. He's trying to break out of the chains. He's no Superman. He can't snap them. Evelyn is coming over to him. She like she literally just puts her hands on his shoulders at first and before starting to, to get the chains and is like, Jimmy, come on. You're outnumbered. And Jimmy, as he's like struggling against you, Timothy is like outnumbered. I'm from New York, bitch. And uh, he. So am I. You see the veins in his neck bulge and a pitter patter as hundreds of rats. Oh, swarm God. into the room from cracks oh, in the walls God. and start biting at your ankles. Second conflict turn. We will start with already engaged melee combat. So, Timothy, you may go ahead and roll another uh, strength plus brawl plus one die. Okay. To oh. lock Jimmy down in chains. Four successes. Four. All right. He's going to roll his pool. He is at a malice from Mars's compulsion. Do you want to use willpower on those, uh, those two non-hunger dice? I definitely will. Okay. Oh my god, Jimmy can't roll for shit. <laughs> <laughs> didn't, didn't get those. You are currently tied, so in Vampire, a tie goes to the person initiating the action, which means uh, you will succeed, and you wrap, start wrapping him in chains, and he is uh, essentially tied down. There's a chance he still might break out, but he is, for the moment, unable to move or use his arms. I'd like to do my Robert Muldoon impression from Jurassic Park. Oh, please. Okay. Stay king! 
<laughs> Evelyn is assisting you there, so she's just holding him down. Reggie was technically in melee combat, so we'll check in with Reggie first. What's Reggie doing as you're choking on this finger? Um, choking on a finger. <laughs> okay, so you just kind of uh, stumble away with your Re- hand at your Reggie throat. Reggie stumbles away and basically falls down, maybe like back against like a wall, and is just trying to cough up this finger and fight back the growing panic attack from biting off a person's finger. You know, even though that person threatened them, but Reggie's not the most violent person in the world. Yeah, you're uh, like a mix between a, a cat and a pug. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're just wheezing right now. <laughs> yeah, so you stumble away and you find yourself swarmed by dozens and dozens of rats um, that just start climbing up over your body and biting at your flesh, uh, trying to get up to your face and, and oh, uh, bite into what? your eyes. I wasn't paying enough attention. Um, <laughs> Neither was Reggie. Neither was Reggie, to be fair. You you have been swarmed by rats. If there's one thing we know, Sky's not metagaming. Are they trying to get the <laughs> That's finger? That's true. Definitely. It's called immersion. <laughs> they, are not, they do totally. not appear to be trying to get the finger. They're trying to get the finger back? They're trying to get your fingers. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, I guess Reggie's fighting them off and just trying to get rid of them and is now trying to stand back up and coughing and just in a very bad place. Yeah, so just um. roll some dex brawl for me. Okay, well, we'll try and brush them all off and be faster than they are. Three, three successes. Okay. Yeah. Um, Antonio is uh, gonna wanted to jump in with a stake, I assume. Yeah, I believe Operation Stake is underway. Go ahead and make another strength brawl to try and drive that stake in. It's not gonna be. He doesn't have a lot of chance to resist because he is chained down and uh, distracted by this uh, sudden compulsion he's got. He's feeling very hungry, unfortunately. Now, is that brawl or melee? Uh, oh, you're right. It is melee. Thank you. Okay, good. <laughs> Slightly better melee. You may blood surge if you wish. Uh, yeah, I think I will. Oh. Okay, we're gonna throw a willpower on that. Mm-hmm. You have to do that because he has three successes. You just need one. There oh, we go. Nice. <laughs> so that'll be a total of four. Five. I think. Oh, five. Because you had five. two successes and you then... had two. That's three. That's five. Yeah. You're right. You're right. I just can't read. <laughs> um. <laughs> So, yeah, Jimmy is basically immobile. Antonio, you appear. You rise up between Timothy and Evelyn and push the stake into his heart. Um, he kind of chokes out a last, like, ah, fuck, damn it, as the wood pierces his molten wax flesh into his grimy undead heart, breaking the skin open, revealing bits of his rib cage underneath, and he is suddenly whoop, rigid as a statue. Mars and Matthias, you guys have rats. Yep. Are they, they're climbing at our, like, up our... Climbing, biting, scratching. I'm going to slap them away with my electric hand. Hmm, okay. Go ahead and roll uh, roll roll some dexterity brawl plus... Uh, I'll give you a bonus die for that. Okay. I don't think I really have any brawl, but... <laughs> I don't. Oh, no, I do have one. I have one brawl. Yeah, you, you were in the army. Yeah, I'm better with guns. You can try shooting him. <laughs> you do have your gun. I, no, that that feels less efficient. <laughs> That's going to be four successes. All right. Uh, and Mars, how are we dealing with the rats? I think, like, I don't know what her reaction to rats is, but it's probably not good. She doesn't really like them. Um, I think she is trying to kick them off and tries to jump on the nearest chair. Okay, onto the onto the desk chair, sure. Um, give me Dex I'm Athletics. I'm at the desk. What are you t- I'm already on the spinning chair. Don't jump on me. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, well, it can, if there's another table, then jumping onto the table, you can jump on the computer table and kick off, kick off the computer, uh, or you no, can jump on a off. cardboard box. Is it looks sturdy? You, I'm, I'll give you that. You could find one that looks full, and you could jump on it. I won't make you jump in. There's an not empty another one. table down here, or a dresser, or nothing. No, not not <laughs> close to where you are. No. Damn. Um, there is a there is a large metal trunk, but it's across the room from you. Okay. Um, so. I mean, my other thought is is that. Reggie is like swimming in rats, and I want to uh, get to, get to her too. Um, you see, Reggie is now on a small ship, and it's sinking into the thing of rats. And Reggie is just can, saluting. It's time for another fish facts. Rats are not fish. That was this <laughs> week's fish fact. Rats are not yeah. Reggie. We'll see. <laughs> Can I actually do like I don't know, kind of like a stomping kind of run over to Reggie to try and kick some of the rats off? I'm treading okay. water here. Sure, that's more of a strength brawl than a Dex Athletics. You can definitely do that. 
Sure. You can try and uh, reduce the rats on Reggie at cost to yourself. I think I'm concerned enough. Are you clomping around in go-go boots? What's going on? What kind of footwear are you wearing? <laughs> uh, probably like Doc Martens. Clogs. Kind of yeah, clogs. <laughs> Wooden clogs. Doc Martens. Clogs. Yeah. <laughs> it's not going well. <laughs> I could have blood surged that. I really could have. I'm I, we're, I'm a little loose on the blood surge. I'll let you blood surge on that right now. Oh, thanks. You just want me hungry. Too bad. I do, I, fuck! <laughs> 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 I do want you hungry. Uh, in future, uh, as a, a rule to everyone, blood surges normally you do have to declare before the roll. But that I, makes sense. There are, there are times, especially if it's like a loose scene, I will probably Ooh. be looser about that. Oh, God, not good, Mars. Wasn't even not good. Worth it. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna willpower though. I'm gonna willpower because now I have three. Three dice. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Come on. There you two go. successes. Okay. It's two. Okay. Okay. Cool. Those of you who were able to focus on getting rid of yourself of rats, you reduce the damage you deal to them. Timothy, Evelyn, and Antonio, because you're focused on Jimmy, the rats have ample opportunity to bite and nip at you. So Timothy, Antonio, and Evelyn are all going to take uh, a margin of five superficial damage from the rats biting and scratching at your skin. However, because it's superficial damage, it is halved, rounded up to three. So mark three slash marks on your health tracks, please. Okay. Reggie, ah! I'm counting Mars successes as yours because she's helping you, which means you are actually safe of rats. Ah, I'm safe of rats. You have a total five. Mars, you made no effort to protect yourself. You're going to mm -hmm. take five superficial halved to three. Sure. And Matthias, you got four. Mm -hmm. So you're going to take one superficial halved to one. Okay. And with that, Jimmy Curly McKinley has been staked. He's bound in chains, a wooden rod impaling his heart. Some of you are scratched and bitten up. Reggie, for once, looks the least damaged and, and fucked up out of everyone in the Coterie. I finally got the finger down. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's the button on the fight is as it all calms down, Reggie, you just hear this big... Uh, uh, um, I, I'll be right back. And they run out of the room and throw up. You sure do. <laughs> yeah. That finger comes right back up. Um, the rats, without Jimmy there to control them, the rats kind of swarm around you guys for a little bit longer and then start to dissipate and retreat into the walls. Oh, again. they're eating they're eating the vomit. Oh god. They yeah, they they eat the finger. I picked the Oh, I was going to say I picked the finger up. <laughs> you you pick up a half a half bitten rat rat infested finger. I I shake a rat off of it. Yep. Are you going to keep that? Um, I was going to offer it back to him. Mm, okay. He says uh, nothing. He's <laughs> petrified. <laughs> hey, that's right. Mars? Uh, I don't know. I think just like looking off of Reggie and then turning back to seeing Jimmy's stakes is just like, well, we did it. Just not appearing comfortable. <laughs> yep. No one would be. Evelyn looks pissed. Didn't give her, did, didn't get her answer. She just kind of, uh, she like shoves Jimmy's shoulder and he just tips over again, like a statue just slumps on the ground. Or I mean a, a rag doll, but like, you know, he, he has no ability to catch himself or, or prepare for the fall. And she's just like, fucking piece of shit. We'll get it out of him later, I guess. I grab the chains and with one hand and swing him over my shoulder. <laughs> okay, yeah. Maybe we can go somewhere and try and get the word out of him. He knew more than he was letting on. Without a doubt. Kind of had that feeling. What makes you think he's going to talk? Because he wants to live. He's got more fingers. Ooh, good. I don't want to take him off this time. No, <laughs> you don't have to. Okay, good. Are you okay? Oh, I think I'm going to go wait outside the room. Mm. Understandable. So, let's get out of here? Uh, is there a way to, like, pack up the computer as well? Ch I want to change the password real fast. You definitely can't pack it up. Um, the computer tower is, is big and, and heavy. You could crack it open. Well, he moved it. He's got potence and doesn't need to carry it out of the sprawl. What you could do is you could crack open the case and take the hard drive. Okay, that's what I'm going to do then. As you reach for the computer tower, just before Reggie leaves the room, everyone is sort of scattered around. One of the screens looked dark, like it was off. But as you reach for it, blue letters flicker into view. And you see text scroll onto the dark terminal that says, Has Jimmy McKinley been subdued? As these letters scroll on, you hear that voice come through as well, sounding slightly, you know, it's coming over a computer speaker, but sounds human. Whip my head at that. Does it sound like anyone we know? It very much does not. Yeah, figured. 
What was that? I'm going to type back, depends on who's asking. Uh, you see the terminal, the, the like waiting text symbol blinks a few times. And then it reads and it says, Timothy Foster, Antonio Strigato, Matthias Wilson, Reggie Hale, Mary Gallagher. Your identities have been recorded. Eyes narrowed. Shit, 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 shit. I am the biphasic, hyperreal, galvanic, reintegrative technophage. It is a pleasure to meet you. Do any of those words mean anything to anyone else? Um, no. Anyone feel free to roll intelligence plus technology if you like. I oh, shit tech, I but can. I'll roll it. I look at I look at Evelyn because she wasn't named. Mm. Is she in the room? Uh, yeah, she's she's probably in the corner looking through the boxes. She she like catches you looking as she she straightens herself up. She's like something happening, and then the text scrolls on screen and says, "Evelyn Greer, your identity has been recorded." Okay, well that answers that. I got a two intelligence. Okay. I have a bestial failure. Oh, good. That's appropriate. I got two. Um, this makes sense for you, Mars. You mm, yeah. uh, you hear that computer say a different name than the one you've been using these past few years. And the beast doesn't like that. The beast is incredibly paranoid. Mm -hmm. You're going to take a two die penalty on anything that doesn't immediately resolve or get away from the source of that paranoia until the scene ends. Sure. And because you have a particular flaw, mm -hmm. the song stuck in your head transforms once again into a whale. <laughs> Reggie and Matthias, you both got two. Um, I will say of those of those words, well, I think individually the words are pretty clear. And it's mostly like putting them together, you don't understand what it's supposed to mean. But biphasic means it's got two phases. Hyper real, that one's maybe not clear. Galvanic is something to do with electricity, reintegrative, it reintegrates things, and technophage means it eats or consumes technology. Wait, is Wait, that... So it's, it's B-H... Yes. Yes, it is, Andrew. <laughs> Wait, is it B-H-G-R-T? B-H-R-G-R-T. It's the spirit of the machine. It's the spirit of the machine. It's Hallowed Bahagrit. be thy name. <laughs> <laughs> that is delightful. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> you. Sly dog. Yeah, anything else to say to the biphasic, hyper-real, galvanic, reintegrative technophage? Why are you interested in Jimmy, and us, for that matter? Jimmy was performing some important work for us. You'll find it on the computer if you search. He was building a map. A map of the sprawl? Indeed. As for you, well, you're the ones who are here now. Perhaps an arrangement can be made. No. In what way? You continue Jimmy's work. We will reward you handsomely. Mars is just backing away from the computer and holding on to her ear. Mm-hmm. Rightly. Mm-hmm. Take the drive. Let's go. I wouldn't do that. I am equipped to wipe this computer in an instant. We can make a deal. Rewarded how? Our resources are vast. What would you like, Matthias? There's a lot that I want that I'm sure you cannot give me. I'm more interested in the word our. You said our resources are vast. Indeed. I am the consensus. The sum is commutative. The fact of the matter is, the five of you, six, have very little information from which you can act. I am much better at predicting things than any of you. And I can tell you, if you choose not to ally with us, your futures look grim. Then say the key word. Say what we're looking for. Hmm. I love that, Seth. Give me manipulation intimidation. Okay. And I will give you I will give you a one die bonus flat because that was an excellent response. Okay. Can't re-roll any of it. Yeah, I can't re-roll. Can't re-roll. Two successes. At the risk of blood surge, I'll let you do a blood surge. Post facto. <laughs> okay. Uh, You're getting hungry already, right? Uh, that would that would put me at four hunger. 
if you fail, but it's a 50 50. Come on, everyone. Yeah, been you can get a 10. That would be a checks. crit. Yeah. There's a lot of dead rats around. You could suckle on for a bit. It's fine. <laughs> hey, I'm at hunger for now. For hunger, everyone. <laughs> Here we go. It's not just Reggie this time. Woo! Worth That's that. what we like to see. See, there you go. I'd say that was worthwhile. Very worth it. On four successes, the computer says. The universe instantiates all computable models to the extent of their completeness. The six of you seek the Oculus. Jimmy's body drops with a thud. I stride over to the um, to the monitor to to get a better look at the screen. Hmm? Where's Lila? You say that Evelyn comes up behind you as well. You see the blinking text light. When you find her, let us know. We'll be listening. And then the screen clears itself. Computer is yours to dismantle, take, whatever you like. It does not start to erase itself. Mars is like pressed against the wall farthest from the computer, staring wide-eyed at it, grasping at her ears occasionally. Mm -hmm. Guys, can we go? Can we... Can we get out of here? Now! Evelyn says, you want to wait outside? There's plenty of shit down here that's worth taking a look at. She holds up a small blue, a uh, small plastic pouch of what looks like a gelatinous blue liquid. Uh, and there's some condensation on the outside. Uh? She, she kind of shakes and is like, he's got a fridge full of this shit. What is that? I have no idea. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> but it looks important. I, can I sneak one of those bags into my bag? Um, yeah, why don't you go ahead and roll Dexterity Stealth to go and find the fridge she was talking about. It might be drugs. <laughs> Mars, if you need to wait outside, that's fine, but I think the worst thing that can happen right now is we don't learn any more than we have right now. This is right. She stares at both of you with, with wide eyes that are quivering. Is like, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go outside. Let me know when you're ready to go. And, and quickly turns and exits to go stand in the hallway. Yeah, you guys take a look in here. I'm going to check the cave. Hmm. Okay. See if you can find bolt cutters. Reggie? I got a four. You managed to, you, you spot the fridge she's talking about. You got four successes. You open it. You see that there are indeed like probably a dozen bags of this blue um, stuff. I snag two of them. You sure do. I slip them into my backpack. And Reggie says, oh, there's ten bags in here. <laughs> um, the fridge is a fridge, so you're not sure how long they might survive without refrigeration. But yes, you have two bags of this. Reggie's not sweating that. What's your hunger at, Reggie? My hunger is at zero. Oh, yeah, you're still good. Cool. Yep. Uh, I'm going to go out into... I leave and I go uh, where Mars is. Okay. Um, Antonio, you're going to head down the direction where the sewage passage, the sewage channel leads? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to say you can go about, you know, I assume you don't want to range too far. You walk like 60 seconds down that way. You see it starts to branch out and resume the kind of patchwork structure of the rest of the sprawl. There is like a, there's a, a, an iron sewer grate blocking the way that presumably Jimmy has a key for somewhere. All right. I'll go back and relay all that. Uh, Matthias and Timothy and uh, Evelyn, what are you guys doing? I think just looking through this area to see what else Jimmy has here, I guess. Um, sure. I doubt any of it has any relation to what just happened. Um, but <laughs> uh, Timothy? I'm going to look for uh, the best tool or implement to chop off Jimmy's fingers one by one. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> okay, yeah. You find um, a rat. Whoever... Whoever among you has the highest intelligence investigation pool, you can roll that with two bonus dice from the other two people's help. I got four. Uh, yeah, I mean, my intelligence investigations max three pool. Okay. Okay. So, Matthias, roll, roll that pool plus two for one from Timothy, one from Evelyn. Cool. Ugh. Two successes, possibly a bestial failure. I can spend my last willpower. Uh, you might want to. Yeah, I'll do that. As long as you're not counting on doing anything else tonight. I hope not. That's going to be four successes. Four successes is solid. So first of all, I'll say there probably is a toolbox, has whatever, you know, basic whatever you'd expect in a toolbox and like a power drill. So you can find some bolt cutters for sure. 
uh, Timothy? A toolbox? Just, just, yes. just because like bolt cutters are usually they're pretty big. Like, oh, yeah, I'm sorry, yeah, like two and a half feet long. Wire cutters, probably. I, that's what I was. I was thinking of wire cutters. Wire cutters, sure, or shears or pruning shears. Ew. Yeah, you find even like I mean, there's probably also bolt cutters. He's an Osferatu, like he would have that here. Ten okay. snips. Yeah, there's he has like his tools in a pile <laughs> in the corner. There's a toolbox. There's also some bolt cutters and uh, yeah, various supplies there. Any basic thing you'd need. Um, you you find the fridge that Reggie pointed out. It does have ten more bags of that stuff in there. Uh, you also find one of the cardboard boxes um, is just hundreds and hundreds of copies of Alethium, which is an occult newsletter in the city that some of you may be familiar with. Timothy, you would have seen a couple of copies when you went to Karma, because Runa Roth writes the horoscopes for it. In the metal trunk, you see what look like um, hover drones, you know, quadcopters. There's one that seems to have one of the rotors snapped off. The other one is intact, two of them in this trunk. And there's also a couple boxes full of just random, like, books, uh, computer parts, cords. There's one that seems to have several, like, framed and graded copies of original DC comics. There's, like, Action Comics number one, uh, a couple other of these in these big, heavy plastic things bolted. That's a resource right there. I'm going to take those. Those are worth selling. You take those? Yeah, absolutely worth selling. Yeah, for sure. The guy is conscious and witnessing everything. He's gonna he die. He sure is. We're he literally sure is. going to have him killed. Um, and you have the hard drive from the computer? That's yep. all the interesting things you find. Yeah, he probably cares more about the hard drive than he does about the comics. I would think. He's gonna spend his last point of willpower as you're picking those up and just be like, no, my comics. <laughs> <laughs> while he's while he's staked. All right. And you guys, have, you've got, you find all that? You pick Jimmy up? And with that, you guys load up. Uh, you're heading out. Are we heading out of the sprawl, or are we going to find another s- place to try and interrogate Jimmy? You guys want to try to look down this tunnel? You need a key. Uh, I don't know if that's the best idea to be toting Jimmy around and the hard drive. No. I was going to get my answers here. You want to do it here? Yeah. Evelyn stomps over and is like, all right, let's make it quick then. She will rip the stake out of uh, Jimmy's chest. Uh, yeah, when Jimmy uh, instantly summons more rats, he has his faculties to him. He now can look down and see that his uh, one of his fingers that Reggie did not bite off uh, is in the bolt cutters. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, he's still chained, and I'm going to lean in and say, "You need to start talking." And so closes another chapter of Midnight Gravity. Oh, come on. Oh, my God. Thank you all for playing and listening. Uh, we can't do it there. Don't forget the universe and stand shades, all computable models, the extent of their completeness. That's all you got to know. That means nothing to me. Plugmaster, take it away. <laughs> Rachel first. <laughs> They're alive. Yeah. They're alive. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, I forgot they died. The Plugmaster is <laughs> immortal. He hath risen. Oh, my God. The Plugmaster is risen. Jesus he Christ. Is Lord. Thank On you, Plugmaster. The, the original uh, Plugmaster. Follow me uh, on my Instagram at Rachel Cordell and follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash Majora's Rose uh, for all of my stuff. Thanks. Very good, Rachel. Thank you. Jonas, you go now. Tintinzer.itch.io. Thank you, Plugmaster. Tintinzer.itch.io. Uh, YouTube, Linktree. Check me out. Thank you. Nice. Wait, nice. hold on. I can make, Plugmaster, may I, may I add one? You want more? <laughs> I do. I'm sorry. Very well. Uh, also, check out our check out our RP Gestures socials. Uh, check out our TikTok, our Instagram, our YouTube. We've been posting uh, and Facebook and Twitter. We've been posting um, video clips. Of the campaign, you can see our faces. And yeah, we, uh, Rachel did a lot of hard work making a really cool overlay, and <laughs> Thank you. Uh, it looks uh, it looks great. Check us out. Thanks. Subscribe. Yeah. Like, smash that Woo. button. Those things that YouTubers say. Very good. RP gestures on all on all platforms. Very mm-hmm. good. Casey, you may plug. Uh, I I I don't have so much of a plug as I'd like to report a crime. Plug master Jonas stole mine. <laughs> Oh. Oh. oh! Very well. Oh, Commence the trial of Tintin Zayo for dun, stealing dun. Casey's plug. Dun, dun, the plug master dun. finds you. Dun, 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 dun. Guilty! <gasps> no, no, no! Not the guilty pin! I don't want to go! No, no! Tiana is 
Jonas, well, you can also yeah, check out my socials at Jonas, Casey Reard on Facebook. There is no Instagram. guilty pit, Jonas. Why are you on the floor? The front of my desk blocks my knees. I can't go any farther down. <laughs> <laughs> Jonas is too tall for the, the guilty pit. I'm too tall for the guilty pit. <laughs> my head is poking out of the oubliette. <laughs> they will stay plugged for one week hence. <laughs> okay. Do you need us to get like snacks or anything, bud? That's right. They won't be able to shit. <laughs> oh no! They got to shit in the plug pit. Oh, Ooh, it's gross. Ew, yucky. Someone take us out of here, please. Uh. <laughs> Sky, you may plug. You like this podcast, Andrew? Uh, Andrew, I'll fucking kill oh, you. Oh, Andrew, you just you just jumped the plug master. Andrew, Andrew oh, just jumped the plug master. Does that mean Andrew's yeah. gonna die I don't too? Think, I don't think. Is the pit designed for two people? Naughty boy. No, I'll make it. For one. I'll, I'll, I'll put you in. in there. I'll put you in there, Andrew. Hey, yeah. folks, are you all I'm plugged fine. up too with inspiration? <laughs> just yeah. really full to the brim and need to just get it all out. Well, why don't you try leaving us a review and get all those deep, condensed feelings out of there? Much like a laxative and shitting. Anywho, good morning. Good, good, night. Night. good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good night. Hey, Jon- Jonas, can you scoot over and like a little bit? The like, plug master I gotta get in there somehow. A Again, gonna cuddle in. Uh, <laughs> give me some sugar, bubble. God help me. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Trailing over there. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe the music didn't start playing until you went. Ugh.